Hi, this is Robert Petkoff, uh, your friendly neighborhood narrator. And uh, speaking of friendly, my friends at Simon & Schuster Audio have asked me if I would be willing to participate in an audiobook guessing game. So they have sent me two clips to listen to from two different audiobooks. I'm going to listen to one clip uh, the first time and see if I can guess who the narrator is and what the book is. Good luck. So uh, let's see how mean they were to me, uh, if they're really trying to trip me up or, or what. Uh, here we go. Molly was dead <laughs> to begin with. There is no doubt whatever about that. The chief mourner, Scrooge, signed it. Old Marley was dead as a doornail. Okay, well, do any of you not know who that is? I mean, I could listen to that voice all day. That, of course, is Sir Patrick Stewart. And, and the dead giveaway, Marley and Scrooge, uh, it is definitely uh, uh, Dickens' uh, Christmas carols. Of course. I mean, God, I love Patrick Stewart. I, I, I get to pretend to be him a little bit in the Star Trek books, um, which actually, by the way, we're here in the studio today recording the latest Star Trek book, uh, so um, I'm lucky I'm in a studio and you guys have really good audio because of that. Okay, so um, let me click the link for the next audio clip. Let's hope this is as easy as the first one. Okay, here we go. We're going to hit play. This is clip number two. They appear more often now, both of them. And on every visit, they seem more impatient with me and with the world. There's something hungry and rough in them. But I'm not being hunted now. Not anymore. Yeah, it's too bad she's not a very good actress. That is definitely Meryl Streep. Um, I have not a clue what book that is. Um, let, me, let me look up and see what book that is. The Testament of Mary by Colm Tobin. Uh, uh, okay, so about... Three years into recording audiobooks, I was driving uh, somewhere and had the radio on, and there was a series of short stories being read over public radio, and Meryl Streep was one of them. And as I listened, I just thought, oh my God, uh, I've been doing it all wrong. You know, she, there's nothing she can't do, but I, there was just a beautiful flow to the way she read. I, I knew that one of my personal problems was I get a little staccato sometimes, I get a little emphatic. And, and the way that Meryl read the short story, it just, it just moved. It just, just flowed right out of her, and it made it so easy to listen to. And it really changed the way that I, I narrated. And, I, and from that point on, I, I would tell producers, hey, listen, if I start getting a little too staccato or a little too emphatic, please stop me. Let me just let it flow out. And, uh, and that's my connection to Meryl Streep. She shares it with me, I'm sure. Hey, uh, thank you all for playing along uh, or for watching me play. Um, and, you know, hopefully you were able to play along too as you listened to it. Maybe you guessed it before I did. Um, in the meantime, uh, I am Robert Petkoff. Uh, take a listen to some of my favorite audiobooks uh, from your favorite audiobook retailers, like these. They're going to cut to a clip right now of, of some of my favorite audiobooks. Bye!